Okay. Spring afternoon here in Tahoe. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Father Francis here with you on this very first, uh, very first Sunday in Lent. Yes, I'm, I'm standing out here in the middle of a little bit of a snowstorm. Yeah, uh, and I'm happy to say that this is the real deal, and uh, it's quite refreshing and invigorating. I want to talk about the first Sunday of Lent. Uh, in the middle of a snowstorm, we're kind of having a little bit of a blizzard condition, they say. I don't know if this is a real blizzard or not, but uh, it is a, a nice little snowstorm. Um, and I think it's a kind of a, a fitting way to talk about uh, Lent. Uh, I'm going to share with you some images. <clears throat> um, and they come from a guy named Todd Heido. And <clears throat> some of these uh, images are considered, I think they're called liminal, uh, liminal uh, photography. And basically what it is, it's uh, pictures of, uh, well, some of these pictures are pictures of just a building outside with some lights, just a light, simple light. And some of the other pictures are, are internal uh, uh, photographs. And the thing that I'm trying to share with you uh, by just sharing with you the, some of these images, and I came across these images maybe about maybe eight or nine years ago, and I've, I've since looked, uh, I've seen them uh, period periodically popping up uh, sometimes on the internet, and I'm always intrigued by them. They basically show, like I said, these kind of, uh, well, they're basically either exteriors or interiors of buildings. Now, <clears throat> They're not so much a reference, uh, but they're not, you know, in other words, if I said, what do you see in this picture? Let's take this picture here, for example. You'd say, well, I see a house. I see uh, there's a light on in the house. There's a, there's a street light on, and it's at nighttime. Okay. Well, we all see the same thing, but what I'm going to ask you is, what do you feel when you see this image? What do you see when you uh, see these other images that I'm going to just kind of flash on the screen? Okay, a lot of these are interior pictures. And they're very evocative. In fact, you know, I'll even throw in a little bit of a background of the snow here. <laughs> you know, what do you see? You know, what do you see in the snow? And they're meant to make you feel something. And again, you, I, think, I think the reality is that you can't help but feel something. And, and I'm all, for the most part, people feel this kind of sense of loneliness. This kind of this, you know, we're, you know, entering into this very, maybe, uh, you know, very, I wouldn't say cold, but I would say very empty, maybe, uh, and very lonely space. And, and so I think a lot of the reason, and the reason why I'm kind of starting off this way is because I think a lot of people look at Lent in kind of the same way. Again, I'm a convert, so for me, Lent was a time of springtime. It was a time of refreshment. It was a time of learning about the new, my newfound Catholic faith. Uh, I didn't have a lot of the, if you will, a lot of the same uh, feelings that a lot of people have about Lent, especially cradle Catholics. And they kind of always, you know, I'd always talk to people about Lent. And I would talk about it in glowing, you know, happy terms. And they would always kind of like, they feel like standing out here in the cold, you know, like I am right now. They think, like, oh, I don't want to go do that, you know. Um, and so anyway, um, but that's the way it is about Lent is that I think it's a time of excitement. It's a time of refreshment. Now, we read in the gospel today. Now, first of all, we read about Noah in the, in the covenant and how God, yes, destroyed the earth. Uh, the, he destroyed the wickedness, I like to say. You know, a lot of times people think that God's a big meanie and he hates people. God doesn't hate people, but he hates sin. He doesn't want sin uh, in the world because, the, because sin hurts people. That's the bottom line when you stop and think about it. All human misery is, is predicated upon sin, you know? And whether it's uh, institutional sin or personal sin or, you know, whatever, you know, it's always something that hurts other people. 
And so God wants to eradicate sin. Not so much people, but eradicate sin. And so what does he do? He takes Noah and his family and he cocoons them, if you will. He protects them in the ark. It's interesting. We call it the ark of the covenant. You know, uh, Noah is a prefigurement of the, the ark of the covenant, the covenant that God makes with his people. You know, and he's going to wrap his living covenantal love uh, around them to protect them, to keep them safe from the poison, the cold, and the errors of sin. That's what the covenant is all about. And it's the covenant that Jesus inaugurates when he goes, uh, when, he's a, when he's baptized into the Jordan, and, uh, and then he now goes into the desert as we read in this first uh, Sunday of, of Lent. Um, you know, and again, I'm excited about Lent. <laughs> uh, you're probably thinking I'm a little bit crazy. I really am standing outside in a snowstorm. It's not, you know, some of you know me pretty well know that I have some, I wouldn't claim I have really great editing skills, but I could probably um, doctor up a couple of images and make you think I'm out in the snow. But I'm actually out in the snow and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I love it. It's exciting. Now, I wouldn't want to have to sleep out here tonight. That would not be fun. But I can, be, I can tell you right now, even though some of you might look at this and say, Oh my gosh, how can you stand to be out that cold? I'm actually not cold. I'm actually quite warm. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm actually quite warm and I'm, I'm having a really wonderful time out here. Uh, and so Jesus goes out in the wilderness not to punish himself, because there was no need for him to do that. Uh, he doesn't go out there to, um, uh, to uh, practice asceticism although some people might make the argument that that's what he did. And to some extent, he was getting maybe rid of some of the distractions that he might have had. Uh, but basically, I think Jesus was going out into the desert because uh, it, was a, it was a time of refreshment for him, a time for him to grow stronger in his relationship with God. See, Jesus didn't see um, the wilderness as a cold, barren, lifeless place. You know, he saw it as a wonderful place to commune with God, to get closer to, to God. Uh, and so I, that's what I'd like to say about Lent. You know, don't be afraid of Lent. Don't, don't go like, ooh, Lent, I don't like Lent. You know, so many people that I talk to, they, they just have an aversion to Lent. And I would love to try to instill in you a, a joy and a happiness and an excitement about going into the holy season of Lent. May God bless you today and every day. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Time for me to get back inside. I hope I don't get, get electrocuted here.